Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and thank you for joining me again for another episode of Farming Simulator 2022. And we are uh, in our sheep barn, and we have 10 beautiful sheep that we picked up at the end of last episode, and I want more. I want more sheep for all the wool in the world. But first, um, we got we were cheeky at the end of the last episode. We put a very small bale of food in there. So if we come on in, you can see, yeah, that's barely any uh, capacity with respect to food. So let's uh, fix that. So we do have our baler here. Uh, let's make sure things are down and load it. And the answer is no. We need to lower the pickup. We need to unfold the baler. Apparently turn things on. Where are we? There we go. We know what we're doing here in Elm Creek. Okay, so we have a large field of grass, which is going to be perfect to keep our sheep fed for sure. As you can see, we've got a few rows and we have a little bit left from gathering the grass for the silage that we collected uh, last episode as well. It's very important we get this so that our growing uh, sheep empire uh, maintains uh, good, good food levels, keep them happy, and keep them producing wool. So I think what we're going to do in today's episode... Oh, make a hard turn. Oh, really? The Massey is really up for uh, replacement here soon, so... Anyways, what we're about to do, or what we are going to do this episode, is obviously we need to finish collecting uh, this grass. We do have uh, bales of silage on the front field, which we will have to move. But that's not a primary concern here at this point. But we are, I think, going to take on a couple of contracts just to get a little larger stash of money. Because I do want to buy a transport trailer. Because as the sheep grow older, we are definitely going to eventually sell them for money. Unlike the cows where, you know, well, as long as the cows are home, uh, they'll give us milk. So what we can do with the sheep, though, is we can raise them, get wool from them, and then we can uh, sell them back to the animal dealer and allow our herd of sheep to produce more and basically uh, free money at that point. So I think that's the, the name of the game. And we will just quickly uh, finish bailing up all this grass. One of the key things that uh, we need to take care of is get our harvester, well, I was going to say back to the farm, but I don't think that makes sense at the moment because we are going to take on uh, some contracts for sure. Uh, and in fact, let's hop into the menu right now because I think we are going to jump the tracks. So we're going to come in here, uh, not here, I mean here. Uh, so we're not doing any bailing, We've done plenty of that. So we have field number 10. That is a great canola contract. And we turn on the details. You can see some really great profit to be had here, but we're actually going to put this into our oil mill production. So we're going to accept this. We don't want to borrow this equipment, although it would be nice. Look at that. That would be very nice to have, but we're going to accept it. Don't want to pay the $1,000. Versus if we come down here, ooh, we have field 24 and field 37 as well where's 24 okay 24 is really out of the way so we're not going to go do that one so oops 
But if we come down, 37, here we go. Very nice, uh, tidy little profit as well. Uh, is it going to the same spot? Let's have a look-see. No, feed and grain south. So I think we have field 79, no. Okay, well, I feel 37 it is. We're gonna grab that and we're gonna borrow this equipment. Winning at the shop, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. So now if we come into our mini map, you can see right across the tracks is field 37. And the train just went by. So really, what could go wrong with this move of Daring, yeah, perfect. See, it's all good. Get things unfolded. And we can get started quickly here on field number 37. So this is gonna make us a nice little, little profit here. Obviously we're gonna make some good money from our contracts, just completing them. So we'll just come along here. I think we're going to have to do the headland for sure. At least getting up to that building. It looks like we hit that fence line pretty darn quick. So speaking of quick, it'd be nice if this was a tad faster. But that's fine. We can deal with that. We can manage. I think we can get rid of Mr. Minimap. Have we searched this building? I don't think we have. So maybe what we'll end up doing is we can get... We'll send the other harvester that we've borrowed over to field number 10 even though it's for this field, but shh, don't tell anybody. Please, just between us, right friends? Just between us. But yeah, I think uh, now might be an opportune time to at least search a couple of these buildings while we're out this way. But what we'll do is we need to get the turn here. And we do need to get the equipment over to field number 10 as well while we're uh, doing a little sleuthing because that would make things just a tad more efficient. Wow, this is a very quick and easy field to do. But yeah, this is the advantage. Take on a contract or take on a couple of contracts at least. Um, you know, we have our own harvester, but whoop, go the right way, Sargon. The right way, which is left, not right. Okay, so we can get ourselves lined up Get the helper on here. We have our harvester lined up, so let's get it over to uh, field number 10. Set up on a job. Hop out, and we've got our Massey Ferguson, which I wonder, would they notice? Would they notice if we just kind of swap Massey? Like, you know, tractor for tractor. I'm, I'm sure there'd be uh, no complaints uh, whatsoever. Quickly hop over to where well, we've got this contract underway. Why don't we do a quick search of these two buildings here? Probably should look for a way to get up top. Oh, and somebody's currently unhappy. Ah, he's figured it out. It's all good. Oh, no, spoke maybe a little too soon. I have a feeling though. Should we get up on top of this? Ah, there we go. Oh, sadness. I was hoping there'd be a collectible up here. Does not appear to be. And I don't see one along there. So that's fine. It's fine. 
Okay, so while this is going on, I think we gotta collect a uh, trailer uh, so we can collect uh, this canola. Uh, look what I found in the complete wrong spot. Uh, yeah, we left both of our trailers by the debris crusher. So it's got a bit of a trip. We'll get this to uh, field 37 while we get started on field number uh, 10. Well, it looks like uh, the tractor with the trailers uh, made it here first, even though the combine left, left first, so that's fine. Uh, the good old top liner. Uh, yep, yeah, our first harvester. So it comes when you start Elm Creek here. In easy mode, I guess. So we can pick it up. Get things rocking and rolling here. We're going to take a shortcut. We have uh, this track here. As you can see, we are just over yonder. Those are the buildings we searched. And we've previously searched the water tower. Slowly disappointed. Uh, from my recollection of not finding a collectible there. Uh, didn't go on top. So we can cut across here. Uh, anyways, we didn't go up top of the water tower because you can only fly up there, but that's fine. All right, Mr. John Deere, give us all your sweet, sweet canola. Now the challenge is we're actually going to have to uh, go get our trailer for uh, the harvester, uh, for the header specifically, I should say, and get it over uh, to field 10. Fun times, good times. And we're getting there almost empty. Two, one, and we are done done unloading uh, not done the contracts so let's see if we can go pick up our trailer well this is much safer anyways hey stop hey dude dude uh, a green thing in the middle of the road uh, just just uh, just saying we are rolling up uh, at a good time on a field 10. The uh, top liner harvester, she's a full. Yeah, you can see her oh, parked in a beautiful, beautiful spot. We can grab that tractor trailer combo. Now, you might notice, uh, especially as I do a look behind, where's our tractor uh, with the canola? Well, Ooh, wait a minute. I'm no, we uh hmm, we should be fine. I'm like, ah, oh, I'll send that over to our oil mill production. Uh, it's not ours. Oh my goodness, Sargon. I am probably the world's worst thief. So uh yeah, we have to uh change uh those plans. That is for sure. So I think we need to send Hmm, actually, funny enough, probably here. Well, I think we can... Actually, you know what? We are probably good for the short term. What we're going to do is let's get ourselves all set up here. Uh, hmm... There we go. Okay, we'll come along the edge here, do this bit of the headland. Yep, and you can see AI Worker F completed their task. Thankfully, that's not an auto delivery. So we are, hmm. We could leave them there, but I also want our trailers over here. Yeah, the dilemmas, uh, especially when um, 
could get called out for stealing, so nobody's too suspicious. But yeah, that's where the extra, sorry, that's where the extra Corolla is going to go. The extra Corolla. Uh, we haven't done the math yet. We could do math. Um, thankfully, we have the detail contracts mod, which helps. That is for sure. But I'm not exactly sure how much canola we'll actually get from this field. So let's send this off on a worker. Okay, it's going to do a little cutoff. That's fine. You do you, sir. We can come in and grab these trailers. Let's uh, take the tops off. Um, rumor has it that will make it a tad easier. Now, hopefully we don't have the emptying issue we experienced last episode. So we're going to have to uh, play with that and see how this works out. Oh, whew. okay. I thought we were about to have the same problem as last episode, but no, uh, things are good. Yeah, we're hard at work. Got a helper in the harvester just moving right along. Hmm. One thing I enjoy about our harvester is we can see how much is actually left in it. Not sure how many trips we'll now need to make. Looks like, well, that one's full. Okay, that's not too bad. We can, I think we'll just fill one up or I'll fill both these uh, trailers up. So now we need to go in and do a bit of math. So these are the two contracts. Nope. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. That didn't make sense. These are the two contracts that we have. And we look at the details. We need 60,000 liters for this one. And that's at feed and grain south. And this one here, you need 10,700 liters. So actually what we could do, we have 8,500 liters. Hmm. I think what we're going to do is we're going to hop across our field. And thank goodness, I uh, love about contracts, crop destruction is off. Uh, yeah, otherwise we'd have some problems. So we're going to see if we can convince this fella here to give us some of what he has in his hopper. Boom out. It's got a longer reach than the top liner. Okay, so we're gonna take that over to uh, Johnson's Farmer's Market. Because, oh, okay, sorry, Don. Do not collect on this contract. Guess we've borrowed the equipment from Field 37 and its contract. But what we will now know is how much Well, basically what I mean, once we empty these two, well, mostly, uh, we can keep the rest of the canola to finish off this contract. The rest is ours. And thankfully, there's not going to be too, too many uh, trips required. Well, that's a bit of a lie, actually. But we should be able to keep ahead of... The need to unload. Oh, there we go. All done. Made 20 extra dollars. So 
So that's not too bad, not too bad. So now we can uh, get on to finishing off uh, this contract. As we roll up here, you can see we're getting darn close to being finished. Um, might have been a little closer, too, if... Oh, speaking of closer, uh, we need to get closer. Yeah, we would have been closer if we hadn't left our trailer where poor helper is like, do I get out and move it? Do I go around it? Um... So what we can do, oop. we're going to jet across here. We're going to send the top liner to finish the little section over here that when we set our harvester off on a record, decided it didn't really want to do, but that's fine. Set the helper off. We can now come in empty this. It's unfortunate, we'd be a little closer to being done this uh, contract. Because as you can see, the top line harvester had very little in it. Very, very little. And I did not notice that it got jammed up as we were making the delivery of this canola. That's fine. It's fine. It'll all work out. We'll have to have a look uh, before we go with this delivery to Field and Grain South to see how much of this is truly needed. No, no, don't do it. Oh, well, that was rude. OK, let's have a look. We need 29,000 liters. So that is just under two more trips. So we might have made a mistake by being a little cheeky, sending the other tractor over to the oil mill. It's not yet delivered. It's still fine. It's still fine for now. Let's see if we can coax this John Deere to give us the rest of its canola. Nope. Rude, I tell you. Very, very rude. Okay, let's do this. Give us all your canola. Well, not all of it, just enough to fill this trailer up. And then that way, before you know it, I, I think we'll be fine. I, th you know what, I'm, I'm gonna say we're going to have enough with the canola that's left on this field to fulfill this contract without having to take the trailer load that we have sitting at the oil mill of production to fill the grain south. I think we'll be fine. Yes, confidently, we'll be fine. 
Well, it looks like the harvesters are all done, which is good news. Now, we are going to start with unloading of the top liner because it is not ours. And as you, ooh, and ooh. And they did not do a good job finishing things off. So in that case, we have a little bit of harvesting to do, which, you know what? I, I don't really mind doing because it is a harvest contract. Yes, it does require us to deliver the canola, but I do enjoy driving the harvesters. You know, I wonder uh, if you're a farmer, you know, unless you're under a lot of pressure that particular day, is it like a nice relaxing thing to do? To sit in your harvester, beautiful day, collecting your crop. I wonder, especially these days. Uh, some of these harvesters I think are top notch and probably extremely comfortable. Okay, we have a bit more to do. Then we'll back this bus up and empty it. Yeah, so the reason why we're going to do this is we didn't bring our trailer. And if we're going to have any extra canola that we cannot put into a trailer, we want it in our harvester. Not that we're finishing this contract, because it would return this equipment, which would be terrible of epic proportions. Okay, so that wasn't much there. Now, if you recall, we just need slightly less than 15,000 liters total. I believe it's 14,900. And I said confidently, with lots of confidence, uh, confidently confident, that we won't need uh, any of the canola that we were cheeky with off of field 37. Here we go. This, this is a big epic moment here in Farming Simulator 2022. Oh. And I'm sure you can tell by the math that we're seeing here at the moment. We are way, way short. Wowzers. Yep. Okay. Uh, not editing that out. I was confidently confident that we had enough. Well, that is darn near perfect timing. Uh, as we roll up with our tractor and a little bit of canola that we were attempting to be cheeky with, we have the one coming in for delivery. Oh, oh, sir. Sir. I think we'll take you back over. Not sure where you were off to, but uh, let's get back over here. This is where you belong. So what we can do is we will empty both of these. This one shouldn't take uh, too long at all. There we go. We now just need to unload part of this, not all of it. So let's have a look, see. Contracts, 5,400 liters. Okay, we can do that. What is that, about uh, 6,000 liters we should have remaining that can go to the oil mill production. So yeah, we were just a little off in my confidently confident. Uh, there we go, a little extra money. So this can all go. Let's come in and we will collect basically $12,000. So collect, collect. We will now get this one over to the oil mill production because the canola oil is uh, worth a lot more than just the pure canola. 
Well, this trailer is back where they started. Uh, trying to be cheeky. But we're still good. We have 6,300 liters of canola to deliver to our oil mill production. So this will be very beneficial for us. We can get this rolling. Now we should be getting some canola next month. But in the meantime, we'll get the production going. Activate it. Yeah, that's not a lot, but still. We have some canola oil there. So that is good. Okay, now after all these contracts, we're not done. There's one other thing I want to get to. Well, I guess two other things. Um, but one of it's going to involve stopping by the store, which is right here. And we will probably end up leaving these uh, trailers here because that's what we do is just leave our equipment lying around the uh, around town. OK, so let's hop in. Uh, let's see. Nope, nothing on sale that we want. Trailers. We're going to come into animal transport. And I did download some mods here. So this one can hold 10 sheep, 9 sheep, 12 sheep. So I'm thinking 9 sheep one might be worth it. Okay, horses, horses, 13 sheep. Ooh, that'd be nice, but we don't have the way to haul it. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to buy this trailer. Got six cows or 10 pigs, nine sheep. It would be nice to get this one, but that's going to use up far too much money. So we're going to buy this. And we are going to head to uh, get some animals, uh, specifically some more uh, sheep. We're now just rolling up. So this is the first time we will be actually picking up and delivering our own animals. Previously, we had the animal dealer take care of all that. Uh, so let's see if we can figure this out. OK, come here. No, we don't want cows. We're going to go with. Some black sheep, I think, here. So. We can have these at eight months. Well, let's let's get the. Uh, the older ones. Nine sheep. Yes. Hello, sheep. Bah, have you any wool for me? Not yet, but soon. Looking forward to that day. Oh, we have 10 sheep in there already. Uh, I think we have to come around back here. We should see. Nope. That's the food. OK, over here. Makes sense. There's a door. And I think we now just deliver them. Move to husbandry. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Some very happy sheep. They're like, where are we going? OK, now, as I said, we have one other thing to do. That very important thing is to feed our sheep. Yeah, we were a little cheeky. Feeding them a very small bale of grass. But. We need to definitely give them a lot more food. So let's see, how long does it take? OK, a little bit of floatingness there. Might have to. Hmm, kind of stuck floating there, buddy. Um, hmm, so I think we need to pick it up. Looks like there might. Oh, there we go. Just knock it down.
And currently super strength isn't working, so I guess there needs to be a little update. I think we're gonna have to nudge this guy a little forward. That's fine, we can do that. Please take this uh, grass bale, please. Get nice and close. Oh, okay, it's taking it all now. Nice. So our sheep are well fed. We've made some money. We have some beautiful mixture of sheep here. So I cannot wait for these guys to start reproducing and getting more sheep. I'm sure we'll buy uh, some more, uh, maybe some young sheep. Uh, but yeah, our wool production, cannot wait to get this going. We have a lot of things on the go, eggs, milk, wool, beautiful. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching and we will see you next time. Bye for now.